Hi and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to do a very quick uh, detailing of, under the bonnet of the Cooper S Traveller. Um, we never really did finish off um, really aesthetically the engine uh, after we put the engine in the car. Um, it's a little bit uh, tired looking. Um, the block and the head uh, had been painted originally and after the rebuild we never uh, addressed that and repainted it. So what I have here is a tin of uh, original BMC engine green. This comes from uh, classic car uh, colours. Um, this is a brush on, you can also brush and spray it on. Um, so I'm going to brush paint this onto, onto the engine. Um, as in this is the correct colour for uh, a 1964 car. Um, I believe this was right up until the late 70s. They used the engine green um, whenever they went uh, red for 1275. Um, and yellow for the 998s um, and before that they went black on some of the engines as well so the BMC engine green is a correct shade for um, under the bond of the Traveller. The engine is currently engine green um, but like I said it's getting a little bit tired so it's time just to get a bit of quick freshen up and um, this is a very very quick video um, doing the engine in situ maybe isn't always the best um, but what I'm going to use is a very small brush just to get into some of the little crevices. Now, um, off camera, I have already degreased the engine um, and I have cleaned um, as much as I can, rubbed off a little bit of uh, loose paint uh, and so on. So we're ready to um, get the paintbrush out. So yeah, next thing, uh, it's a nice day outside. We'll push the car out and um, yeah, we'll give it a quick go. Okay, so first thing, let's give it a mix. First, let's pop it off. It's quite thick at the bottom here. It's been has been every use. It's been sitting on the shelf for quite a while. So as you can see here, the, the engine uh, the engine block and the cylinder head um, actually are both of two different greens. Um, there's a little bit of uh, rust in places uh, where uh, paint has been scraped off and so on. Uh, just a bit of discoloration in places there as well. So um, the, basically what we want to do then is just give that uh, a full uh, tidy up and make it all, all uniform as well. So we'll start with the uh, head. Uh, what I do is I take out one plug at a time so I, I don't um, and be very careful in round the, um, where the plug goes in so you don't really get any paint down into, uh, into the cylinders or either. So uh, yeah, let's make a start on that. So we'll take start with the first one here. So just using a small brush allows us to get uh, close to the edge here without actually getting any paint over it. And then um, just, uh, just allows to get a little bit of a better coverage as well.
So just put the plug back in again. Actually need to give the car a service so these plugs will actually be replaced very soon. next one Okay, so that's looking a lot better there. The uh, engine block just needed a touch up as it was actually the correct shade. So it was more just the cylinder head actually had been painted the wrong shade of green and now all is um, matching nicely. Okay, so that's the um, engine block and cylinder head tidied up and repainted in um, the original BMC green uh, that it should have been. But when I was doing that, I did notice uh, another little job that had been done before but has come a little grubby are my lego head uh, dash pots um, I painted them uh, I think it was fate broom yellow got a little uh, lego head um, faces uh, ordered off the internet and added to them but getting the engine tuned up and a few things a little car cleaner got onto them has actually discoloured them and lifted some of the paint um, off the alloy so what I'm going to do is pull the air box off pull off the dash pots, give them a, a clean, take stickers off and clean them and give them a fresh coat and we'll order up some uh, new stickers. Okay, so here's the dash pods. As you see, a little bit of car cleaners cut on them as run down, actually taking the paint off. Um, so 
yeah so it doesn't look the best especially it's going to be uh, come with shows and so on i want to look in the best so again he's not looking just as happy as he should have been so yeah first job to do is we'll take the stickers off these and um, give them a clean i'm just going to use good old wd-40 just give them a quick uh, decrease using that uh, and then once uh, that's all clean uh, rub them down and um, give them another coat of yellow which i happen to have uh, broom yellow from fate which is what i painted these before which i thought was close enough to the lego uh, head colors so just with a knife here we'll just take off the stickers if we can quite brittle I'll be giving these a rub down so I'm not terribly worried about scoring them Wipes the smile off his face. Give these a little bit of a quick clean. Stick residue off them. Okay, so next step to give these a rub down okay so that's the two dash pots uh, given rub down and clean and rub down so we'll just take them outside and hit it with the yellow paint so there we have them resplendent in fate broom yellow once again so next thing we have to do then is just order up some new uh, lego faces and get them stuck on and rebuild them back onto the carbs again and then refit the airbox and that will be the inch bay of the mini finished for the time being <clears throat> recording yeah. okay so we'll leave that video here today so next thing we will be doing, as I'm saying, we will get new Lego faces for the dash pots, get them stuck on uh, as soon as they come, and put the, the dash pots back on the car again. Um, we don't have anywhere planned to go in the car for the next week or so, so give us enough time to get that done. 
and yeah so the next video that you'll see with the traveler will most likely be um these will be fitted so um there's not really much point in showing you that it'll literally just be a, re a reverse of uh, taking them off um so it's fairly uh, self-explanatory so yeah i hope you um take two okay so that's where we're going to end this video today so the next thing like i said is we will order up some new lego faces for the dash pots get them stuck on and then we'll put them back onto the car again so yeah um hope you uh, enjoyed this video uh, again again wasn't a terribly exciting one uh, but just a little job that needed done on the mini um definitely want to get her looking her best before the show season um last year at the one and only show that i was at um i didn't even lift the bonnet um it was so untidy and um you get a few people just saying oh he just stuck a cooper s badge on his traveler so but nice to actually show off the cooper s engine and so on uh, at the shows so yeah hope you enjoyed the video if you did remember to give it a thumbs up and uh, remember to click that red subscribe button before you go and if you click on the little bell icon you will get notifications of future videos as they go live so yeah thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one it's time to switch it up let's get the switch panel out give it a coat of paint and get these switches working